Hi guys, so today I have a declutter, not a declutter, but it's for a lot of reasons. I recently read the KonMari Method book, I, there was a few YouTube videos I came across, YouTubers talking about old makeup and how it could be sold at places like Big Lots, Dollar Tree, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and they're selling expired products. So I checked the batch codes to most of my products, and so there's a lot of products that are expired or I just don't trust. And then I watched a few documentaries about consumerism and stuff, so it sort of changed my views. And it sort of pushed me to stop shopping and think about what I have and start decluttering. So for me, it was sort of a lot of things like all at once that made me want to declutter all this stuff. So I'm going to go through it and show you guys what I'm going to declutter today and tell you my thoughts and the reason why. And then just certain things also that, I mean, I didn't even know that they sell, sold expired products at uh, stores that they could do that. I mean, it's pretty crazy when you think about it. So, and for me, it's just, there were products that didn't work out for me also. So now my goal is to declutter, surround myself with things I love and that work for me, and just stop impulse shopping because that's consumerism they want you to impulse shop. And then another thing I've been doing is listening to the podcast The Minimalist, and they have like a lot of things that they tell you in their podcast that it's just like, wow, I didn't think about it that way. Like I didn't even realize I was doing that, and it's crazy, and you realize um, sometimes in your environment when you have so many things and your life is cluttered that also your mind is cluttered like you have a cluttered room and at the same time mentally your mind could be cluttered and you don't even realize it and I'm like wow I didn't even think about that and there were times where I felt like very like my mind was cluttered and then my environment around me was cluttered with stuff I've been going through a lot of my stuff this is just like makeup and nail polish I've done clothes already in my room. It's just for me, I feel like I don't like filming my declutters, like when I'm going through the process. I feel like it's easier for me to focus just me doing it without filming it or anything. So I just like showing you guys the after effects of what I'm getting rid of for that reason. So how I came across the expired makeup products was a YouTuber called, I believe, Dolls Up Daisy. And then I also watched Lauren, Lauren May Beauty's video on how old is your makeup and also her video on her makeup addiction and LS's video on makeup addiction because they both talked about their experiences and how it came to be that they felt like they had an addiction. So I thought about it too and I'm just like, there's so many times I just impulse bought things and I didn't need them and it was just, oh, this is on sale so I'm just gonna buy this or, oh, this is a dollar, I found it at Dollar Tree and this is normally like $5. So I'm going to stop doing that and I even realized too because certain things I came across too I bought on sale that it was like almost expired before um, I bought it because it was on sale and you don't really realize that stores tend to do that too like they're trying to get rid of stuff and that's why it's on sale so that's the stuff that's like about to go bad so I'd rather now think about what I'm buying, possibly pay more money to know that I'm gonna have it longer instead of have it less time. So I'm gonna go through the products and show you guys what I'm decluttering now. I know, I'm, I just sort of rambled on for like a good five minutes, but it's just certain things I feel like a lot of people don't know and it's good to know certain things and you know, we don't even realize sometimes that we're impulse shopping and it just happens. But anyways, I'm going to go through everything now and show you guys what I'm getting rid of. So I guess I'll go through this stuff first. <laughs> this is like my normal little declutter bin. As you can see, it's full to the brim and that's why I had to pull out this. So some of them I wrote the batch numbers on, others I did not. So I will tell you guys probably in the future you might see less Dollar Tree hauls or either that. If I do a Dollar Tree haul, you probably won't see like cosmetic products in my Dollar Tree hauls. If it is, maybe it'll just be like a nail polish because I feel like nail polish, that's something I don't declutter if, when it's expired or past the date because nail polish I feel is a little different because it's not on your face. 
So I'm going to go through these products and tell you what's expired, what's not expired. I mean, a lot of these I did get at Dollar Tree are on sale from certain stores or brands. So I'm going to talk to you guys about that. And there was one product I actually finished up and I was a little... It was bad because I finished it up, I looked up the batch code, and it was the Too Faced Naked Dolly little sample I was using, and I got it in the year 2015, I believe, or 2016, and I looked at the batch code, it was a free little sample, and the batch code said it was from 2011. So even with that, I'm even leery about free samples, like I'll look at my free samples now to see if they're expired or not, because it's a little sketchy. <laughs> I mean, you get something for free and it's expired, I mean, come on. But, now I'm getting into these products, so the first thing I have is this e.l.f. Baked eyeshadow. I looked up the batch code, it was expired, so that's why I'm getting rid of this. I got this at Dollar Tree originally, and it was a nice eyeshadow, but it's expired. <laughs> so next, I have this e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick. I bought this a couple years ago, so that's how I know it's expired. I bought this from, I believe, Target or e.l.f.'s website. And this expired November of 2014. This is Velvet Rope by e.l.f. It's like a bright red color. I have a NYX lipstick that's very similar, but it's matte. This was like more moisturizing and like it wasn't matte and that's drying. So I did enjoy this product when I used this, but it's expired. Then next I have the Wet n Wild Fergie lipstick. I got this at Dollar Tree and I could not find a batch code, but... I looked up the Wet n Wild Fergie collection when it came out, and it was a couple of years back, so that makes me think that this is definitely expired, so, and I didn't like how this color looked on me as well, so I'm getting rid of it, and one thing I will tell you guys, I'm not mad that I wasted the money on this stuff, I mean, I'm guilty, and I feel like, okay, I could have fed somebody with all this stuff that I'm getting rid of, which, you know, makes me feel pretty bad, but... At the same time, I feel like, okay, but I learned what colors work on me, what colors don't work on me, what brands I would want to buy from, what brands I don't want to buy from, and just different things. So next, I have a Milani Crystal Gloss, and this, I could not find a batch code of when it expired, but I looked up online when these came out, and when I seen the year, I was just like, no, I didn't write the year on here, so I don't remember what year it was, but this is expired. So next, I have this e.l.f. shimmer powder. I got this at Dollar Tree. It worked okay, I felt like, for me, and this expired, so I'm getting rid of this. Then next, I have these e.l.f. tinted lip balms. This one I got at Target, so this one I got a few years ago, though, so I know this is expired. This one, I looked up the batch code, it was July 2015. Then this one, I bought at Dollar Tree, or no, I bought it at Walmart, I think, and this one expired 2014 September, so this was on sale when I bought it, half price. So, well, no, there was one in my room that was a backup that was half price. This one was the original one I bought, actually, from Target. So this one expired 2014 of September, but I bought this, I think it was in the year 2014 sometime. I used, oh no, this is the one I bought from Walmart. Look at that. <laughs> this was unopened. I bought this at Walmart or I bought it at Dollar Tree, but this expired in September 2014. I bought this a year or two ago. So this one I did not even use. Not used, unopened. It's sad that whole product not used. I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> so next I have this Lip Smacker Blushes I in Mango Fizz and this I got Dollar Tree. Um, I did not find a batch code. I could not look up a batch code so I gave up and this I didn't like how it applied on my lips anyways. I'm tossing this. I'm tossing this. I almost had it I think two years ago I bought it so this I know is expired. Then next, I have this Too Faced Melted Metal, and this is in Melted Metallic Bunny, and I just didn't like this color on me, it was too much of a hot pink, like it was like a Barbie pink, so that's why I'm decluttering this. And this I got on sale on Too Faced's website, and I couldn't decode the batch code, but the last digit is 5, which makes me think it's from the year 2015, so I'm not really sure on the year, but 
I'm not really sure if it's completely expired, but I don't want to take a risk and give it to somebody else if it is expired, so I'm probably just going to toss it. And I got it a year ago as well, so it's over a year old. So next, I want to talk about this last one. So I want to talk about these. These I got at Dollar Tree, I believe, it was like a year and a half ago. It was when I first started my YouTube channel. It was like my second or third YouTube video, I mean, of Milani products I found at Dollar Tree. And these expired a long time ago. I remember looking these up and these came out, I think, 2011. And they were at Dollar Tree in 2016, so they were like five years expired, which is pretty ridiculous that they could get away with that. It was 2011 or 2012 these came out. So these are the Milani Hope Flash Full Coverage Summer Lip Glosses. And I couldn't, like there's a batch code that's like faded, so you can't really look it up. But these, when I seen when they came out and they were discontinued, I was like, okay, these are definitely expired. I'm getting rid of these. Okay, so next I have this e.l.f. matte lip color. This I bought myself from e.l.f.'s website. I didn't get it at Dollar Tree. And this expired February 2015. So this color I, didn't, I wasn't really too crazy about, so it just sat in the back of my collection. But now it's time for me to declutter it because I've had it too long. The color's not flattering on me. So I learned not to get this shade next time. But anyways, I'm decluttering this. Then I have another Milani Crystal Lip Gloss. Like I said, these are very old. So this is going, I got a Dollar Tree. Then next I have this NK Auto Lip Liner. I found this in a dollar store. Or it was like a 99 cent store. I think it was a black lip liner. This is very old. I got this a long time ago. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Then next I have an e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner crayon, and this I looked at the batch date, this was expired, I got this at Dollar Tree, so this is gonna go. Then this I'm getting rid of, this is the e.l.f. lip primer, primer and plumper, and this I got I know over two years ago. It worked good on my lips, but I didn't really use it. I mean the cinnamon, this clear side has like a cinnamon oil in it, and it plumps your lips. And then this side is like the nude type of color to put your lipstick over. So next I have the Wet n Wild Fergie Bronzer or to Reflect Shimmer Palette um, in Carnival and Rio. And this is too warm of a shade for me. I got this at Dollar Tree. It's expired. So I'm going to be getting rid of this. I know this is like a complete waste. And then thinking about it, it's just like, oh my god, I'm wasting so much stuff. When I watch the documentary of Plastic Ocean, I'm like, this is so much plastic. Oh, I feel like a terrible person. I'm destroying sea life right now. <laughs> I'm destroying the planet with my consumerism. But moving on to the rest of the products, because there's a lot more to go. So I have another Milani lip gloss. This one I got at Dollar Tree. I couldn't find a batch code or anything, so this I am decluttering because I do not know how old this is. Another Milani product I got at Dollar Tree is this one. And this is the Infinite Liquid Eyeliner, and this is an Infinite. And I'm not really a brush tip eyeliner person to begin with, so this is just like to try it out and try to like get better at it. And I never did, and I got this at Dollar Tree, and it's probably really expired because I couldn't find a batch coat on it, so this is going. Then next I have this Lord and Berry Maxi Matte Crayon Lipstick. This was very drying on my lips, so I didn't like it. I got an Ipsy bag over a year ago and I just didn't like it, so that's why I'm getting rid of it. Then I also have another Milani lip gloss, and this also has no batch coat on it, so I'm getting rid of this as well, because I don't know how old it is. I'm not playing the game of, um, this could be, uh, over three years old, and I don't know it. <laughs> So next, I have a Pixie lipstick in Rose Natural. I got this in an Ipsy bag last year, so this is a little sample. I really enjoyed this, but it changed in smell, and it just, it's gotta go. It wasn't working on my lips right. Like, as soon as I smelt it, I was like, ooh, this has gotta go. I like the shade. Maybe I would buy a full size of this, but the thing was, too, when I used this, it, like, broke off, so I made it very difficult to use. As you can tell, the packaging's very beat up from when I first got it. So, I like the shade, maybe I would purchase a full size in the future when I have less lipstick, and I want to just use one lipstick. 
So this, if it didn't expire, I probably, well actually now I see a little, I think this is a little batch code here. I probably could look it up to see how old it really was. But for me, this is the sample, so it's not as big of a deal for me. I haven't got it through Ipsy, but I'm decluttering this. The next, this really stung my lips. This is the Too Faced Lip Injection Color Balm and Pump It Up Pink. And this, is, I got this on sale. It says D113, so since the last digit is 3, I looked it up and it was from the year 2013. And I got this in 2015, so they were selling something expired. So for me, it's just like I don't trust the sale part of their website anymore. So this really stung my lips and it just. I felt like a bee was stinging my lips. It was pretty bad. I would not repurchase this, even if it wasn't expired. So next I have this Utenique Beauty Blush Serum. I got this in a birch box. No matter what I tried to do with this, I just couldn't get it to work for me. It was like a bubblegum pink. I tried it on my lips, and I was just like, no. I tried it on my cheeks, and I was just like, no. So I'm getting rid of this. Then I have an e.l.f. Aqua Beauty dewy berry lip product and this I did use a deep, I used like a quarter of it last year and this is very drying on my lips and I'm not using it so I'm gonna declutter it and it's over a year old so I know that this is something that's expired I got this I think a year and a half ago so for me I'm gonna get rid of it for that reason but I'm happy I did make progress on this and it isn't something I used once or twice and I'm getting rid of so this is something I probably I know they reformulated these I think but I don't even think I'd buy the reformulation. I'm just gonna get rid of this. Then next I have the Too Faced Melted Metal Liquefied Melted Lipstick and Melted Metallic Peony. Uh, this worked okay for me, but this was something I got on sale and the last digit, I looked at the batch code and this expired, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And for me, I just felt like I didn't really like the formula of this, so I just feel like it's best if I get rid of it. Then I did throw in like little eyeshadows in here because there were some eyeshadow palettes that I got from Dollar Tree. And after I, it was before I watched the video, I depotted eyeshadows and I was putting in Z palettes and stuff, so I lost shadows. And then there are other ones, like this was from an LA Colors cheek palette it was the cheek palette i believe the eyeshadow palette the little one but it was expired because i was with the batch code so i deposited them i had it in a z palette and then for me i watched the video talking about expired makeup products being at stores like dollar tree and big lots and everything and then i took them out of my z palette and i'm like these are expired because there were a few times was once or twice my eyes were a little irritated when i used these eyeshadows so that's why i I said to myself, it's not worth it, I have better eyeshadows, I don't want to risk my health and my eyes for an expired product. And I have, this was from LA Colors, it was another little eyeshadow palette that I had. And for me, I filmed my eyeshadow palette collection video, so that will probably go up after this video. But it's just I didn't have time to upload it, but those, it was before I depotted those eyeshadows, so for me... <laughs> I went through a project of trying to depot eyeshadows and it was just crazy and I regretted a little bit because I lost some eyeshadows in the process but then at the same time I kept the ones that I like and then I seen the shades that I have doubles of so it worked good and bad in ways. So that's everything for this little bin. I have a nail polish here. This one I got at Dollar Tree. It's a Maybelline Color Show nail polish. It's a shredded. I did not like this. It was just just didn't work very well on my nails so I'll be getting rid of this then last I have a few makeup products in here actually with my nail polish so I have this elf beauty book and it's the Elsa one I it's the snowing ice beauty book and I got this a few years back and I believe this expired 2015 2014 I looked at the batch code and this was like a Walgreens limited edition type of thing I tried using it last month at Everything just wasn't performing the way of when I first got it, and I felt like it wasn't really showing up as well, so I decided I'm going to just declutter this and get rid of it because there's no point in me keeping it. I mean, it's nice as like a collector's item just to sit on a shelf, but I feel like for me, I don't really need to collect this, and 
just have it collect dust. So I'm gonna get rid of this. I guess I should show you guys the next three makeup products and then four makeup products and then move on to nail polish. Or five. Yeah, there's a few more. So, no. so there's this. My best friend gave me this eyeliner two years ago. So it's over two years. It was an e.l.f. one. There's no batch code. There's no nothing on it. I'm getting rid of it. It was good, but it's way too old. Then I have an e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow, and I got this at Dollar Tree last year. I looked up the expiration date of the batch code. It's in November 2014. So this will be leaving my collection. And the good part is on my current makeup, I did write expiration dates on the bottom of when it's going to expire for certain items, and then I'm aware of when it's going to expire, how long I've had it. Then next I have a Wet n Wild Fruity Blush. This is a little too pigmented for me, and I know this is old, I got this at Dollar Tree as well. So I'm going to be getting rid of this also. Then I have this e.l.f. It's like a little mascara thing. So when you do your mascara, but it's very dirty. So I feel like I want to get another one of these because it's just dirty and flimsy. And I don't actually even use this when I do mascara. I feel like it's easier without it. I'd rather take their makeup remover pen and just go in after I do my mascara. And just clean it up after <laughs> instead of using this. So, I'm getting rid of this little shield thing. Then I have an e.l.f. blush palette. And this was a free gift I got from e.l.f. for spending a certain amount of money on their website. And when I looked up the expiration date when I got this, it was like about to expire or it already expired. And these blushes are a little too pigmented for me, so I wouldn't buy this blush palette again. Even if it wasn't expired, this is expired. They did look up the batch code, I didn't write it on here, but... For me, these blushes, I just didn't like how they were a little too pigmented. For me, I like blushes that are a little more buildable, that aren't as pigmented, so this I will be getting rid of. Then, the last makeup item I have, after that's all nail polish, is this Too Faced Melted Liquefied Wear Lipstick. It's a little sample of Melted Peony, and this I just don't like how it looks on my lips. This is expired as well, so I'll be getting rid of this. And then on to the nail products. <laughs> so first I have like one of these foot things. I'm getting rid of this. I got this at Dollar Tree, I believe. It's to like exfoliate your feet, but I've had it a very long time. So there's probably skin cells in there that are very gross. So that's gonna go. Then I have this nail corrector pen and I used a lot of it. So that's why I'm getting rid of it. And it wasn't bad, but it's by Sassy and Chic. So you can even tell, like, when you look at it, this is yellow and was originally white. Then onto the nail polishes. First, I'm getting rid of this Wet n Wild for uh, Wet n Wild Mega Last nail polish. I just didn't like it. Didn't last my nails very long, and I just didn't like the formula. I'm not very big on Wet n Wild nail polishes, to be honest. Then I have this is like a makeup brand from like a kit from when I was a teenager I got. This is the Color Workshop. <laughs> so this I'm getting rid of because this is like over 10 years old and the formula is like a really cheap formula. It's like one of those makeup kits you get as a teenager that's like a no brand makeup kit. So I'm getting rid of this. Alright, so I'm getting rid of this Revlon Metallic Nail Polish in Silver Dollar. I believe I got this at Dollar Tree and it's I have another shade exactly like it so this I'll probably just give to somebody else. Then this Revlon one, I also got this at Dollar Tree, and half of this is like gone and I did not use it. And this, I just didn't like the formula to these double-ended nail polishes. And I have another one here, so these I'll be getting rid of. And I have another Maybelline nail polish. I don't like Maybelline nail polishes, I've come to that conclusion. And this is the Color Show nail polish in Bold and Burgundy. I feel like this is very patchy on my nails, and I just couldn't get it opaque. And I couldn't get it nice. It's not the color that's on my nails now, but I'm getting rid of this. Then this I'll give to somebody else because I already have a white. This is the oral no, this is the Nina Ultimate Pro nail polish. It's a white nail polish, French white. So this was originally a neon purple. It turned this weird pink color. This is Jessie's Girl High Intensity Nail Color. So it changed colors completely. Like you actually could see. I don't know if you guys could see it, but I'll 
here. But it was like this purple, but it completely changed in color. So I'm getting rid of this because the color was Wild Thing, but it's no longer Wild Thing. Then I have another Nina nail polish, Ultra Pro. This is like a purple color. I'm gonna get rid of this. It's in purple pizzazz. I have a Milani nail polish and it just says Milani on the bottom. It doesn't have a shade name. So I'm getting rid of this. Then I have these two sparkly nail polishes. I got at a 99 cent store by NK Nail Enamel. And I wasn't crazy about these, so I'm getting rid of them. I have a third one here too. Then I have this Nail Savvy Extended Wear Nail Lacquer in Emerald Green. So I'll be getting rid of this. Then I have these two. My mom got it like a fair somewhere. And it's the Clean Color Nail Lacquer. And as you can see, the white like is on the bottom. It went to the bottom of this nail polish. So this nail polish is like separated and it's not the same. And then this is Max Makeup this Nail Lacquer. It's a different brand. And this one's like doing the same where it's like separating and the color's not the same. So I'm decluttering this Nina Ultra Pro Black. I have other blacks. I don't need this black, so I'll give it to someone else. And I have this Stripe Right So Easy Nail Polish. And I believe this dried out. That's why I'm getting rid of it. It's very, very old. And then I have the Sally's Girl Nail Polish. So I'll be getting rid of this as well. But that's everything. It's a crazy amount of stuff I feel like I'm getting rid of when I really think about it. But at the same time, I feel good about it because I know all this stuff I don't want to be using on my body or my nails or my face. So I'd rather not take the chance. And I feel so wasteful wasting all this. But at the same time, I'd rather be safe than sorry. And even with someone else, like, I'd rather not give expired products to somebody else. And it made me think more of how I shop and changes that I'm gonna do now shopping. I know this is a very long video and this is like a massive declutter for me. Normally I only declutter like a little bit but it's just I feel like this is needed and it sort of feels nice having less stuff to be honest. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like I said if I show you all of this stuff it's crazy. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!